win here, it would make a heck of a difference. They're about to go. They do, and just for the record, the Bold All-Stars actually pinched a little margin there because they got inside Japan at the start, but we're not going to worry about it, Tams, and are we? We're no, not... no, everything's a bit loose tonight, everything's different. And this Elimination Mile is one of the most different events that track and field has ever seen. So after 400 metres, you've heard the explanation that the final person will be eliminated. Now, Jeff Risley is at the back at the moment. He's sitting back. Uh, he looks to be pretty comfortable. Matthew Ramson's about to move up. Uh, Gao Yongzhou leads of China. Tucked away, Jamie Webb of England. Ben Musson of New Zealand. And uh, Jeff Risley. So we're at 120 metres to go. Risley sitting back. Just the pace is going to be interesting too. I mean, do they run it almost flat out? They look like they are. Risley's moved up alongside the Japanese runner. So Jeff's just got to make sure here he's conserving. All right, so he gets himself I think into the right spot. Wait for a late dive. I think China might be going. Yes. So China's gone. So Gao Tong Yu's gone. And now suddenly they this catch it. This is where it's weird, isn't it? This is fantastic. None of us knew how the tactics were going to play out. Speaking to Jeff on Thursday night, he figured that he was okay because he has a great 800 metre background. Um, a few of the athletes are more 1500 5k types. Um, the first lap, they went out pretty fast. Nobody wanted to be eliminated first off. But going so fast in the first lap, they know they now need to conserve some energy if they're actually going to finish the race off. So Maeda moving up, he's already running the medley relay tonight. He ran the 800 metre leg and he's really a 5,000 metre runner. The young Aussie Matthew Ramson, the 19 year old, he's running for the Bold All Stars. It's from Western Australia, goes past Jeff Risley. So Risley again doing what he did. He's playing a little cat and mouse game here. So they've taken the numbers. Musson trying to get around Risley. Risley's got to be careful here. So in the straight, Ramsden leading. Risley looks comfortable enough. He's moved up. I think Maida's in trouble. Risley better have a good look. Marson looks, Manson looks back. Risley's got to push, push, push. He does. Maida goes. So China went and now Japan goes. We are down to four. So one more to be eliminated and then the dash for home. So well done to Maida. He, uh, he's earned his keep tonight with a uh, 800 medley and now there. So the two Australians, Matthew Ramson of the Bold All-Stars, the 19-year-old Jeff Risley, the 30-year-old Victorian, and then a gap to Jamie Webb and Ben Moosen. I'm not sure if those, I'm not sure if those guys at the back have got another kick in them. Have a look at them. I'm actually not quite sure, Bruce, if they want to have another kick in them. Obviously, surging is not the way to run a really fast time. It hurts. You pay for it later in the race. But look, here go Moosen. He's coming back with Jamie Webb. They know that they need to be up there closer to Risley and Ramsden, but Risley and Ramsden are probably a step above the other two. They should be yeah. safe. Ramsden looks really comfortable, Bruce, out there in front. It's a group of youngsters around Risley. So you've got the 19-year-old Ramsden, and then the 22-year-old Webb and the 21-year-old Mousson. So Mousson's the one that's going to go, surely, the Kiwi. So New Zealand will be out. So we get down to the last lap. So what happens here? Do they just keep running hard, Tamsin, or do they start to play cat and mouse? So one to go. Now, I don't think Webb wants to keep going. So Mousson's gone. So it's really come down to the Bolt All-Stars. There is uh, Ben Mousson. He's gone from Papua Nui, the New Zealander, but he's earned some points. He's got 60 points for the Kiwis here. So in the back straight, Ramsden, the Bolt All-Stars. He's the Western Australian. He was in the final of the World Junior 1500. Nick Badeau's his coach. Jeff Risley uh, sitting on him at the moment. So who gets the 100 and who gets the 80? Jamie Webb's in the background. He's not worried. So, gee, Rams in a bit of a chance here for the 19-year-old. Some real bragging rights now. Risley starts to go. He's about a metre behind him. Ramson leads into the straight. He's going to be hard to beat, I reckon. The Bold All-Stars. Look at you, Usain and the Sarfant cheering him on. Risley comes to the outside. Jen gets involved, but Ramson's holding him. This is a huge win. It's an Aussie for the All-Stars. He's just 19. What a future he's got. Jeff Risley second. And I'm not sure whether Jamie Webb's still with us. He is. He's about 150 <laughs> metres away. And there he is. He is a star, this young fella. Unfortunately, he's knocked off an Aussie. Well, Ramsden is going to be a, fu a future star in this event. He, he won the 5K and 1500 of the trials for the juniors. He's, he's a great athlete. I didn't expect him to beat Jeff Risley in a kick. He went early in that last lap. He, he was very strong. He was a basketballer. He's six foot four, Bruce. And he was doing cross country at school in year eight. And he's now, his old coach, Shane Ellis, noticed him and sort of said, well, maybe I think you should give basketball the flick and come across to athletics.
Matthew Rams and a name to remember, 19 years of age. So the elimination mile, the women still to come. Well, when you've got these guys urging you on. Jeff Risley gave it a great shot. And uh, Matthew was able to pull away from Jeff in the last little bit. But it's such a tactical race as you've seen.